this right here is going to give you mad crazy chisel skills. I'm going to tell you what it is and how to use it coming up next. Hi everybody, I'm Leah of CJ Drill and if this is your first time here, I just want to say welcome to you. Now we're a home improvement channel where beginners are welcome as well. Now at the start of this video I was holding up a block and what it's called is a gotcha block. And if you've never heard of it, listen, I gotta tell you this right now, you're not alone. So the Gottschall block, it was developed by this guy named Franklin Gottschall, and he wrote a book called Making Antique Furniture Reproductions. And in that book, he came up with the idea of an exercise to get people really working on their chisel skills and saw skills called the Gottschall block, and that's where it comes from. If you're a woodworker, you may have heard of it, but if you're not in the woodworking, chances aren't you have it. The best way to tell you about it is to actually show you. So let's go over to the bench and get started. Now there are a lot of variations to this Gottschall block. People kind of put a twist on it, do their own thing. But it always starts off as just a piece of wood, three inches by seven inches. Now here's a block that the Gottschall block that I did earlier today. It took me about three hours to do. It's you know it's an afternoon or half of an afternoon, and each one of these areas represent kind of a tricky cut. This is called a rabbit. This is called a, well, they're calling it a gain. In the book it's called a gain, but this is what's called, I refer to as a stop dado. This is a dado as well. Now this is a blank that's already been marked. I'm going to start off by cutting a rabbit. Now let me put this aside and bring in a blank that I've already cut out with a saw. And what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to fine tune it with a chisel. So the first thing you want to consider is grain direction, because this grain is going down, okay? And if I were to start chiseling here, my chisel would follow the grain. So sometimes it's better to go against the grain, because you're going to get more control that way. Okay, so I'm going to take my piece of wood, I'm going to set it on top of a piece of wood to, to elevate it a little bit. It'll make it easier for me to work on. And now I'm going to clamp it down. What you have to make certain of is the work piece that you're going to be using a chisel on is clamped down tightly. Okay, so secure it. Now I want you to notice this, all right? It's where I've positioned the chisel. And I've got the back side of the chisel toward the wood I'm saving. And the bevel part of the chisel is facing the wood I'm getting rid of. Now when you do chopping, you have to use a wood mallet in combination with your chisel because you won't be able to chop all that wood by hand. Now what I always do is I like to pinch my chisel like this and my index finger, it works as a stop. Now the trick really is, the trick is to take just, you just want to take just small slices of wood. When you're paring, that's the, that's the secret, just small slices of wood. Now I've adjusted the uh, piece of wood in the vise. Now what I want to tell you is, this is ingrain here. And ingrain pairing is probably the most difficult to do because, well, you're working against the grain, right? And again, it's just about taking off little tiny slivers. That's it. So that's it. There's our finished rabbit. I gotta tell you this, it doesn't matter if you're a woodworker, or a carpenter, or a DIYer. We could all improve our chiseling skills in what better way 
then I got y'all block. I know that I had a great time this afternoon working on this block and you know some of the cuts are a little tricky and then some of them not so much but it's a good way to really refine your skills with a chisel. And you know that's one of those tools that everyone should know how to use. Now what I'll do is I'll place a link in the description below the video for the dimensions to the Glock Show block so you can easily do it yourself in your own workshop. Now if this video was helpful to you and you enjoyed it, can I encourage you to subscribe to our channel, ring the bell notification, and every time we upload, you'll be notified. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.